y'all are about to try um, is a jalapeno butter deviled egg. Um, so I have a bed of microgreens underneath. Um, I have some whipped buttercream along with some um, jalapenos, um, a splash of honey, um, mayo, um, a little bit of vinegar, and then um, on top I have some toasted pecans and a um, dry jalapeno for garnish. Awesome. All right. Thank you. I would say off immediately I love the presentation of it. Um, I'm very big on simplicity. So seeing something like this is very, uh, in the, something that look, looks like a little big spoon, like a little soup spoon, I think that's really nice. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I immediately taste the jalapenos, okay. but it's not to the point where it's overpowering. Okay. It's it's like it gives me the jalapeno flavor without giving me the spice. Okay. And that prevents me from like not being able to enjoy it. So I think you did a really fantastic job on that. Um, likewise, what um, Kyle said. Um, I also like that. Um, the pecans, it doesn't feel like it's oversaturation of the pecans, it's just enough. Okay. Um, What's some things I don't like, or you would change? I'm trying to find that out. Okay. Well, I'm, I, I really love the deviled eggs. Okay. Um, my, my farm for deviled eggs spends from my grandma. Okay. And my mom took over the recipe and then I took it over. I always loved deviled eggs. So seeing that in a different manner, it's really unique to me. Yeah. And I'm really enjoying this experience. It's really good. I think for me, because I'm just kind of more on the sweet addict side, okay. I would have just a little bit more honey, just for me. Okay. But taste-wise, it's excellent. It's okay. really good. I love the jalapeno. Overall, really great dish. Really great. So what would you rate it, Kyle? Oh, it's just about that. Man, that's hard. Uh, rate it out of what, would you out say? Out of one out of 10. One out of 10? I would say with 10 being like the best? Yeah. Um, I would say I would give it a, a good, I will give it a good seven, okay. seven point five out of ten. Okay. Um, mainly for me, when I eat the jalapenos, I'm expecting like some type of um, really strong, like a really good kick. Okay. I'm I'm really big. I really like spicy food. Okay. So I was looking for, I was hoping for something more on the spicier end. Okay. And though it did not give me, though it did not give me that spice. Um, that spice I was looking for, it was still something I enjoyed. Okay. So I would say I, I definitely a seven out of 10 for sure. Okay. Um, you said you added chocolate on it? Yep. I did not taste much of the chocolate. Okay. So maybe a little bit more for me. Okay. On my end. For me, it would be um, a 8.5 out of 10. Okay. Um, just for me personally, I would have wanted a little bit more honey. Okay. But yeah, outside of that, it's very good. Really good. Really good. A great appetizer, honestly. And now we have um, smoked cheddar mac and cheese. Um, and I chose to keep it in a pan um, to give it like a more home style for Thanksgiving. Um, let me know what you all think. Um, it's smoked cheddar in there along with some smoked paprika as well. So I'll put it in the Thank you. Thank you. So I'm, the one, I'm the one on the right. Thank you. You're welcome. It smells really good. Yes, it does. Great aroma.
Yo. <laughs> you <doing> okay? <laughs> This is hitting. Oh my gosh. I need some pool pork on the side. Oh my gosh. It kind of, it do taste like there was meat involved. Yes. I kind of, I like that as a meat, as like a meat lover. I do like the, the feel like the meat is not missing. Even though it's, even though it's not. It's not in front of us, but it, Taste. It feels like it. It yeah. feels like <laughs> the meat is involved with it. Oh my gosh, this it is. It feels like it came off a plate off something that came off the grill. Yeah. Um, this macaroni and cheese is very like rich and flavorful. Um, each bite is just a bunch of flavor. Um, and I like it. I like, I love it actually. Um, I don't have no negativity over this mac and cheese. Right, 10, 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. Texture is nice, consistency is nice. Right amount of cheese, sauce is great, aroma is great, flavor, yeah. What? Ah, you're next, sir. <laughs> so, the, it's definitely smoked for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely smoked for sure from the cheese to the paprika. It, as soon as you brought it out of the oven, I, I knew I smelled the smoke. Um, I think that's also because I smell the smoke. That's kind of what gives me that, um, the meat on the grill mm -hmm. type of feel. Um, if it, re it really feels like I'm at a cookout. The taste is really there. I love the consistency. Flavor, the flavor is absolutely there. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. I have a uh, orange honey cornbread with a cinnamon thyme uh, with the herb butter. All right, let me make All right. This is so pretty to look at. Hmm. <laughs> no, it's That's good. It's good. Okay. That's a good sign. I love the texture. Okay. It's not um, extremely flaky, which I like. Okay. I don't, I'm glad it's not fl extremely flaky is what I'm saying, okay. which is a good thing. Okay. Um, the butter was a great added taste. Um, I kind of want to spread it a little bit more, the butter, just to give that let me see. Let me see. Yeah. The butter and the orange is, um, I'm trying to find the right words, like, it gives that extra pizzazz okay. to the cornbread, and I really like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm a, I'm a hop back on to the what Alexa said about the cornbread being not really flaky. Okay. I 
heavily agree. Mm -hmm. um, I, honestly, I think it has the right amount of fluff and the right amount of flake for a cornbread. Um, as soon as I bit into it, I tasted the orange, okay. mm -hmm. which I would say was probably the key ingredient for here. Okay. Um, phenomenal. Okay. The herb butter, as you can see, I was very quiet this time. I think the herb butter was a phenomenal, phenomenal add-on. Mm -hmm. um, Appearance-wise, I, I like what you did. Okay. Um, if anything, I thought it was gonna be like a melted glaze. Okay. And I thought that would have been phenomenal, but yeah. even even that right there is is really good. Because I, for me, I like cornbread either way. So for me, I'm just biased with cornbread. It doesn't matter. Um, but it was really good. I would give this a um, eight point nine out of ten. I really love how you, how the flavors just mesh well together okay. in the cornbread. And even like when you add the butter on top of that, it just, it flows, it flows really well. Um, I'm, I'm giving that an 8.9 out of 10. Okay. And what's some takeaways? Go ahead. I'm, I'm not done eating. I think I would, like Kyle said, I would like to see the option of it being, um, you said glazed? Mm hmm Like a melted butter glaze. Like a melted butter glaze. Okay, okay. Version of this. Okay. But it was really good. Like, don't change like, nothing yeah, except I don't just have melt any, the butter. Yeah. Okay. Don't change a thing. Um, the components you did for, that, um, that you added for the, for the butter, mm -hmm. I think you did, what you did was really well done. Okay. Um, you said you added like thyme in there? Yep, so I added thyme and uh, cinnamon. Thyme and salt. cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I taste all of that. Yes. Okay. I taste all of that. Yeah. Really well done. Very. Really very well good. Done. Very good. I wanted this sooner. But great job. Great job. 